Hello, this is me, JDJ, and so I've got an unboxing video. This is a vertical grip for a Canon ES 550D, which is this camera. I've got a manual lens on it with a converter, and the batches are not very good, at least the third party ones I've got. So I'm going to try the uh, vertical grip. So here it is, it's just arrived. It came late, it's half past five in the evening, and I was waiting all day for this. I thought I might come tomorrow. Be a Wednesday today, we'll do it on the Sunday. So let's open this thing. Get it open. I wasn't expecting it really because it was so late in the day. I thought oh, I'd be right, right off today and then maybe it'll come tomorrow. Okay. It's a third party one. Here we are. Let's what is in the box. And some packing material. Which is that. And this is in a dress on it, isn't it? There's an empty box, nothing in there. Quite well wrapped. I have to cut this off. Newer, they were. This is this is new off eBay. Cut it for another after, won't I? See what ain't better than that. You said. Wow, this is well packed. This is. Yes, it's actually really well packed. This is. This box. There we are. Bring it down again. What a nice box. I wasn't expecting it to look quite so. It's a nice actually that. It's a vertical grip. Brand new. Let's do a, has it got a yes it does. It has a, like a seal thing on it. You're seeing it the first time that I'm seeing it, which is uh, nice. Let's put cardboard there. There is a magazine for the. That's an AA battery. I've got to get some. Oh, that's the um, the normal battery for the camera. It's quite heavy. It's quite, quite heavy. And there it is there. Just a plastic thing, and there's a manual in there. And uh, here it is. It's modestly heavy, actually. This is. Here it is. This is quite nice, actually. This. Doing this in HD, proper HD, or 1080, because I normally go a bit lower, but I'll do a 1080 video, see how it comes out. But this basically goes on the bottom of the camera, and then you. Tighten that for the tripod thing, and then you can put better batteries or more batteries in it. It's got a cap on the top for the for the contacts. Quite a lot of effort they've gone to there. I've got to give them a bit of a bit of credit there. That's actually a very nice thing. And I assume the batteries, yeah, rather like the pro ones. How do we do it? It says open. You pull that out. Okay, there's the. That's the dub, that's the DAA battery magazine. Oh, okay, they're going to the side. There's four there, two there, two there, and then there's one here. And one there. Okay. Silica gel, because you've got to have silica gel. And what's inside there? Oh, it's quite nicely done. That feels really nice. It's quite solid actually that. 
can probably see now that the light. It's looking really quite good actually that. Feels very substantial, I have to be honest. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the camera. I've got to get my batteries on in a minute. Because the the third party ones I've got fairly cheap. They don't last more than 20 minutes when I'm doing video. I've got these uh, not very good bonus cell. Uh, I've got two of these last year and they only came with one battery and I got it through the second one. So the battery must go in like that then I think. I'll put numbers on them because I've um, got to mix them up. And then that one goes in there, I would have thought like that. Like that. And that's it. This should double the capacity of the of the um let me just turn Right, yeah, goes like that. So there it is. Uh, I have to take the original battery out because there's yeah, the original. I've got one that came with it. It's a proper Canon one, that. Right, so I have to take the. Oh, I have to take the bottom off, don't I? How do you get that off? What happened was, I just pulled it literally forwards and it just like came out of the... Let's see what it is on right here. But it came out by just pulling it forwards like it just came out like that. So, okay, so I'm going to put this on. It needs to be... So I'll try and get this on camera. It goes in, there's the camera like that, and you basically just slot it in, like that, like that. And I have to just rotate the, um, get it on camera. There it is. So it goes tight. Well, it feels much more substantial. So there is the 550D with its vertical, with a third party vertical grip. I checked online with the Canon one and it's practically the same difference to be honest. Corner trigger there for the vertical and you've got like a wheel there that would be for the shutter or aperture. The magazine end there. Not much to show on it, only the um, on the back and I've seen that that turns on the button so if I turn it on there it is that is giving me a battery readout what I'll have to do is I'll have to test this um, for recording a video and see how long it lasts because I can't actually test it I could test it now but it would take half an hour to do a test and um, on video mode. There we go. Let me get a video mode there. This lens here is an old Olympus um, mount um, third party lens, really old. And I'm just trying it out on this because it's got I've got a converter and it's got a um, it's got a focus confirmation and you can turn the aperture on it you can turn the aperture normally if you wanted to shoot with video you uh, if you take uh, you want to take pictures you normally have to um, use the dial there for um, shutter or aperture not together at the same time because it's a budget model but with the manual end you can turn the aperture and get aperture control 
So there is the vertical mount, looks nice. Right, so what I've done is I've changed the lens and that's what it looks like with the vertical mount. It adds just extra capacity for batteries basically and um, say you wanted to take a bunch of photographs in manual, which were in manual, you turn the aperture, the thing on top, the little ring, the thing there, and what you get is you get shutter speed, but you can't change the aperture unless you press AV and turn the same dial on top and changes the aperture. It's a budget model, so that's why. And on the bottom, if I turn it on there, and then you can turn on the corner, that one, it does the same thing as the other one. Turning that, and it's turning that. And then when I do something again, there's a button here that's the same as that one there. And it basically allows me to select the Aperture. That's a bit annoying, but it is a budget model. So, and then you take a picture with the. So you want to do vertical like that. I'll take a picture of nothing. Oh, my cards are falling on. See, there's a nice function here with the. Um, you press the button to get the picture, and where these buttons here, you just press that one, and it zooms it in. And you press the other one there, takes it out. There is to reproduce there from what was up here. So this is on the grip. You have to turn these on, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So yeah, zooming in, zooming out. And you press the shutter button on the corner, and it takes you back to the picture ready mode. My aperture is too too small. Take my eyes up. Just that. Go oh, eight hundred. And then that's my settings there. If I don't do vertical I would take a picture of That just basically gives you an easy, it's much more substantial actually to handle it because that little grip there isn't very big. So having that, the corner now there, is like that now for me. So that's even just with normal horizontal, that for me is really quite substantial. I've got big hands so this is a relatively small camera as well. So if I was to be here. I'd be like that before my hand would like go over the bottom of that. So now I've got the whole of the bottom of that now. So I would say if you've got one of these um, budget models and you've got quite big hands, they've got quite thin, skinny grips on them. Get a vertical grip. And it isn't just about vertical, that really makes a difference. That's a lot easier to hold for me even before I start doing it like that with the vertical. It's a lot easier. It's quite wide as well. Rubber finish on it. It is plastic as far as I can work out, but it's really quite solid and quite heavy. Not really heavy, but much more substantial than I thought it was going to be. If I get the Mark III out, to compare them, actually, this is the Mark III. This is the Pro one, Digit 3, 2007. 10 frames per second, this is APSH. This is a big one. Quite substantial, this is like 1500 grams, this is quite heavy. I'll get the battery, I'll just do a battery comparison. Here is the Mark III. Here is its battery, which is bloody massive. Normally don't leave them in because it drains them. Alright. 
that's the battery of the Mark III and this is the not to drop them that is the battery of the Mark III 550D and they're quite similar although this one's better quality because the battery is that's part of the battery whereas this is the, the caddy thing So yeah, that's just a kind of a quick overview of the thing. I got it mostly for the battery, because my batteries don't last. These third party ones are not very good. They don't last very long. This is my experience with this model is it is not a very good uh, battery life on these. So. Quite a nice feel. I'm quite surprised how that's really nice. Quite the build is solid, fairly heavy, not massively heavy, and um, it does seem to improve the handling for horizontal, which I'm quite surprised at. That's much nicer. I'd recommend it actually, to be honest. Turn it off. Okay. Take the battery out. You pull it out. Of course, it's just two of them. <clears throat> and there's the uh, end of the thing. I will test it with double A's because I'd like to test it with double A's actually. This side by side test of the i50 and the Mark III. So i50 and the Mark III, not quite as high. This one's a lot less wide, this one's wider. And either way, this is thicker either way, this one, but yeah, it does make a little bit of a difference. So, yeah, comparison to a pro one versus the budget. APSH, APSC. Yeah, so there is the um, vertical grip, the Niwa. Looks pretty good. I'll have to do a bit of an update, you know, a sort of uh, working test and show if it's got any issues. But um, nice box, really nice packaging, and uh, it looks like a nice product. So I would recommend that in terms of just what it looks like and the build quality. The EOS 550D vertical grip. <laughs>